Should we start by shooting the thing? Because it's ridiculous. The rate of fire. It is. Huh? Put on your goggles. I brought safety goggles. Man, this, is, this feels so wrong. You know what feels so wrong about this gun? I did stories with it before, and and I don't really have that much respect of an airsoft gun anymore. It's kind of like I point the barrel away, I make sure it's not hard to effort so it doesn't bounce back. But at this one is like there's just so many PBs coming <laughs> yeah. out of this thing, so chances that something comes back at you in this office is just really high. Just so, put on your goggles. I'm, I'm just really scared of it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's just... The, the funny thing is that it sounds the same as a normal DSG, but it puts out twice the BBs. It puts out twice as much. Do we even have 11.1 in there? Yeah, I would assume so. Yes, we do. Anyways, this is 60 rounds a second, and that is the topic for make today. Sure, make sure to not point it at your laptop. Yeah, it's... Okay, it's, it's going into the foam, so that's okay. good. <laughs> Good! So what is this thing? How this how, how did this even start? Like So we were at Iowa, IWA. Yes, true, we were at IWA and we saw it and you asked the guy from Classic Army. Yes. And we were like, yo, this is amazing for a video. I won it. I wanted it. Like when I saw it the first time, I'm like, man, double barrel and four. Like we we gotta have it. And when they I sent it to us. They were so nice and sent it to us. When I saw it for the first time, I bet I, I saw it only one barrel shoot. You know, like those mini guns which have one barrel in the middle and it's just barrels turning around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, this actually works like it should, like the real steel version, which you saw recently. On I Demo saw Ranch, a video right? about it. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Yeah. And you realize it is not a regular AR-15, and it is a biggie. <laughs> But how was your experience with it? Well, I already played with it, not with DSG, DSG in there, so it was like stock. Stock. It was stock. It was a, was shooting two BBs. We changed the hopper brabas and the yeah, yeah. spacers on the hopper And I had yeah. to change the, especially the pressure uh, plate. It was completely wrong. It wasn't hopping at all, so I had to yeah. kind of repair it when it we is. got it. Yeah. But anyways, I played with it. It was fun. It's like an AG. It's a little bit heavier. Uh, not a big deal. It shoots two BBs. It shoots two. BBs. That's that's it. Yeah. It's and like reloads you, are weird. Reloads are really weird. Yes, if you use mid caps, um, eh, it's doable. But you know, it goes nicely through bushes. So that's that's the advantage. Like when you shoot through a bush, that's that's where it shines. But yeah. other than that, it's not a big advantage over a regular AEG. Unless you like make the hop up like fly like up and down and then you get like a shotgun yeah. kind of thing. I guess so. But yeah, it, it was nice. It yeah. was nice. So how uh, do you break it? But yeah, we have to yeah. I broke it after the game, I broke it because I was doing something with it. I wanted to change something. I don't even remember what it was, but I was too lazy to check the wires yeah. where, which is, I was changing the connector to Dean's. It, it had Tamiya connectors and I was changing the, to Dean's and I soldered it the wrong way because the cables <laughs> I was black. Lazy. There's just black, right? It's two black yeah, cables. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell designs that and, stuff? And I just, I was like, ah, it has a control unit inside. It will protect it. Uh, in the worst case scenario, which actually happened. So I plug in the battery and was like, Tush! <laughs> and I'm like, man, how do you, how do we repair this? It's, it's, it's atypical. It's because it's different than a normal HE. Like the, the way you open it, it is, it is yeah. actually quite different. And the control unit was different. I know. And uh, it's that, proprietary. Yeah, it's proprietary. You can't find replacements. We had to mill the gearbox to fit yeah. the Titan in there. So it kind of landed on the shelf after Joseph did that. And yeah. you know, sometimes I looked at it and I was like, ah, we should do something with it. But I never really found a reason to do it. But then I watched this video of Demolition Ranch where it kind of showcases the real steel one. And when I saw the real steel one, I was like, this thing actually exists in real steel? Yeah. What? Like, who? Why? why would you want that? <laughs> because America. Because America. Because America. Yeah. Because America. That's why you want it. And it's also interesting to see because it's one trigger assembly, but it's two separated bolt carriers. So internally, of course, they work different because this is an airsoft gun, but this is one piston rack, like it's a double piston with one rack and it actually pulls it back at the same time. So it's not two individual gearboxes running, it's actually one big gearbox running. 
Exactly. It's super complicated when you look at I mean It's not super complicated, but if you looked at AHEs your whole life with one piston, it's like Wow. It's, it's like, like how am I gonna repair this yeah. if something breaks? Yeah. Because it's, the, the, it's the absolutely proprietary, the whole thing, yeah. Uh, not the whole thing, but a lot of parts of it. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, um we just had this moment, Joseph and I, where we looked at each other and we said We have to make a video with this again. And or something, you know, yes. something. It's just too cool to just leave it broken on the shelf. That's what it was. So we talked to Yen, and Yen was like, let's make it easy of this. It already has two barrels. <laughs> yeah. Let's put dual sector gears in there yes. to double the fire rate. So it's kind of like, like a quadro, a quadro sector yeah, in setup a in some way. Exactly. But anyways, let, let's get Yen. He can tell us a little bit about what he did, because it's not that easy to make a DSG out of this and to put an ETU into it. So It's not. Let's it's definitely Yen. not. So that we can entertain them meanwhile. <laughs> tell them about Czech Republic. Czech Republic, okay. <laughs> so in Czech Republic, uh, the jewel limit is uh, 1.7 for, uh, you know, CQB. Secret so projects, this would be legal in Czech Republic and 1.7 joules. And so far we don't have like uh, RPS limit. So we could play with this thing and maybe that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, let's leave this discussion to the end if it's actually legal or not who knows because this is this is honestly ridiculous like i can yeah, imagine grab, that grab the red ah, texture there we go. do space oh, yeah get colors. we have enough space good well. yen you can take off the mask it's allowed in the studio okay um what did you build what did you guys make and what was the challenges ah the most unique thing about this is it's, as far as I know, the only two barrel M4 that you running on a Titan. So we actually machined the gearbox to fit the Titan in there. So that was challenging, but, but what else? Like when you... Because if, if you make a DSG, you put a, a lot more stress on all the components, right? You have to put a heavier spring. Like which spring did you put inside to even... In two springs. Two yeah, spr yeah, yeah two that's springs. the thing. It's two springs, so... Uh, Normally I go with the M150. This one yeah. is the M140. Okay. But it's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and you also said it's like we shouldn't dry fire it because then it's like at the limit of what it, it can take, right? Yeah, because it is a super heavy piston. It's like solid aluminum, two together like a chunk of metal. I mm. saw that. Is it made from an extrusion? I think it's an extrusion. Mind me. And uh, Ah, not no, important. let's not yeah. go into extrusion or not. It's so, just crazy. Yeah, and so basically, I'm pulling on two M140s, or oh, even though only halfway for DSG, but the motor is about as torquey as I can find. It's a 20k motor, it's like as slow as it can get, kind of. So I'm pulling that, and if you dry fire, it's just hammering on the gearbox mm. with nothing can, there. You, you can use it to hang like a picture on the wall. It's like drills <laughs> <quite> like. <laughs> Da, 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 da. You can really feel the. <laughs> if the you put it, if yeah. you put a drill here, if you it just go. If you try fire this, and it sounds certainly different from like the SSR fifteen. It's just yeah. not like you can feel the air coming out and the piston going like healthy. This one you don't. So it's kind of like a GBBR almost. <laughs> Reverse recoil. <laughs> Reverse recoil, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I have a very heavy piston, which is not what's used for a high speed build. A high speed build, you want a light piston so mm. it reacts fast. So it's completely wrong. So it's completely wrong in that sense. So if I use a regular hop up to get the same amount of hop, I need a lot more pressure on it. Mm -hmm. And that causes a pressure spike in front of a piston, which makes it move even slower. Mm. And I mean, when the first piece we got... Uh, it Are you still following? No, I am still following. <laughs> I'm still following. After, yeah, yeah. Uh, after a jam, it just tripped. So uh, it's our hopped, so I need less pressure to give the same amount of hop. So mm. it's a BB and piston gas. Why didn't you just machine the piston? Lazy. If it's, if it's aluminum. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> if it's aluminum, you can just go like, just mill half of it away. If it's, it's strong enough for sure. Like if that's an aluminum body. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah. You t totally can Swiss cheese it, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> okay, okay I wouldn't go any deeper because this is already very technical. We so might make a tech video. Let's <laughs> you, you know what? Let's make a tech video. We're gonna put it on the Norwich Tech Channel and Yen is just gonna strip this thing apart and gonna talk about what's oh, in no. there and what was the the challenges of it. 
You looking forward to it again? Taking no. it apart again? Maybe we can just uh, take it apart to just show, you know, this part because this is relatively easy, or it should be at least. So, ooh. So we have two barrels, so, of yeah. course. Oh, well, it's actually a rotary chamber. It's pretty and nice. here we can see the two pistons. And, no, not the two pistons, but like the, this whole contraption. Gearbox. We used to call it a gearbox back in the days when there was only <laughs> yeah. one cylinder and one piston and one spring. This is just a monster. Like it, looks, it just looks weird. Yeah, it just it is just weird. But anyways. Okay, and thanks for training. We're yeah. gonna move on with less technical stuff. Good. And and I will back to a more technical stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Develop something cool, man. Develop okay. something cool, man. Yeah. Three barrels. <laughs> yeah, three. <laughs> we, need, we need three barrels. <laughs> I mean, we need to beat Classic Army and make three barrels. <laughs> okay, let, let's just quickly put it back together so we have the whole thing in here. It's like a spaceship. It doesn't look like. It's like a, a gun looks a certain way. And when you look at this, it kind of looks like it's an LMG or just something because it's so pin. wide. Just look at this pin, how long it is. <laughs> yeah. okay. Only a gun person would understand why this is cool to look at. So we can. We have a stand now. That's what I like about it. It's a stand. Yeah. I mean, nice. not like just like this, but also like this. It's actually quite, quite nice. Yeah, nicely uh, balanced. The balance, you know, it's yeah. decent. Okay, next point what we have. Is it legal? That's the question. It has 60 uh, rounds per second. Um, because it's two barrels. Because it's two barrels. It's 200 rounds per second, essentially, yeah. but two barrels. And we were wondering, should we take it to game? Obviously, because, man, who wouldn't watch a video with this? That's Especially with DSGs, like when yeah. you see how it's just flying like one double snake. <laughs> yeah. It's just two. Uh, yeah, we, of course we want to make a video, but that got us thinking. DSG, double barrel, is that even Feels something legal. that should be legal? I know in Czech Republic I could play with this. There is no such rule as, you know, you but are you know, emitting RPS or something. You know why there's no such rule? <laughs> because who the fuck brings something? Like it's, it's like, Nobody has it's it, like yeah. if someone brings a flamethrower and he says, Oh well, well there's no, no rules for flamethrowers. You know? flame it can only have like thousand degrees. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not the such truth. a rule, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, but this is something to be to be considered. You know, I, when when I made a story, I even thought about how do I chrono this thing even? Like it's so hard to chrono. Yeah, because you <laughs> because you like, shoot you, you you shoot so you shoot through the hole of the chrono, and with the other barrel you shoot into the chrono or on the side of it. Like yeah, it, it's yeah. very hard to find a, a way the of not spot. shooting into the chrono. Yeah. What I thought is if you bring it to the field and, and a guy says, well, you're not allowed because it's double barrel, you know what you can do? Just put only one magazine inside. You could, yeah. Yeah. You could. And also, you know, what's what's practical about only having one magazine inside this gun is, you know, you're empty and you kind of have like a ready mag. You're like, oh, empty. <laughs> and you take the full one and put it in there. Well, the, the magazine stays empty. Yeah, like know. if you take it out, it doesn't magically like load itself when you put it back in. <laughs> no, but it's fine. You don't have to drop it. You know, you don't have to put it back in. Your, your oh, pouch, yeah, your you, oh, you right don't have it. to drop the mag. Okay, yeah. yeah. I it's mean, like, I guess that's a feature. It's an active retention magazine pouch on your gun. <laughs> it's like a dump pouch, essentially, for one magazine. <laughs> or you can say, I have a ready mag there and just have two mags in there <laughs> and just shoot and. You can just take out the hop-up chamber. Oh, we know what you can do. Okay, I have it. You slide out the hop-up unit from one from one side, yeah. and now you actually have a ready. You mag. have a ready mag because it's not loading. No yeah. ready mag was ever as dedicated as this one. True, and no ready mag was ever heavy as this one. <laughs> yeah. They are actually super heavy. Okay. Ready mags. There is some ridiculous <laughs> things you can do with this, but anyways, back to the question: Was it legal? You mentioned Instagram. We made stories a few hours ago, yeah, and we asked you guys if it should be legal. I'm wondering. Uh, what's the result? Let's check it. So, so gameplay. Gameplay. Yes. People want a gameplay, and there is <laughs> seventy-two percent yes, and twenty-eight percent no. We can also check out this video here on how I shoot the cardboard, <laughs> because you can also hear it one more time. You can see how many BBs are just going through this cardboard. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's it's like those two lines of BBs. In, in such a short time. Okay, so three fourths of people want to that, see people that, that, getting hurt. that it's it's legal, yeah. Yeah. 
What do you guys think? I think they want it legal for this one video. And then they're like, that's bad. It's like the 40 mic. <laughs> you know, everyone goes like, let's make a video. You know, most of our viewers are anyways from the US. So they're like, yeah, let's, let's legal, you <laughs> yeah, know, right? Austria, he's, Austria. Not, he's never gonna play with this in my field. So. Yeah. If, if I would see a guy with this on the field, uh, man, I really, I think I'm, I'm barely the guy who says, okay, I'm not playing because the guy is using this. Mm. But when someone brings a 40 mic, for example, I, I kind of like, I don't want to play because I've seen people getting like, but you play this. anyways because we need the videos. Yeah, I do it anyways because I need the videos. But I, this this would be the kind of thing where I would be like, is this really necessary? It's like it do, it doesn't make you feel exactly comfortable. Yeah. At least in my case, like I don't I don't care really. Bring whatever you want, but it wouldn't comfort me. Yeah, and it's also not really an advantage for the guy using it anyways. It's like it's not. Yeah. It's, it's not that it's something smart where I go like, oh, that's a good idea. It's just like pain times two yeah. these youtubers yeah exactly <laughs> but we're gonna make a video is it and see how people react <laughs> if they allow us if to they use allow it. us yeah. let's we're gonna be careful let's anyways see. what do you think legal or not fight in the comment <laughs> now now <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. okay. give, give us a thumbs up if you think it should be legal and give us a thumbs up if you think it shouldn't be legal <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> let's see who wins <laughs> let's see who wins <laughs> okay let's uh, let's wrap it up uh, what's your opinion on this I think it shouldn't be legal, but if it's a person using it responsible, like just outdoors at long ranges and you get the tools down, I think it's absolutely fine. It's If it's like around 1.5, fine. <laughs> That's just you being Jack. I think 1.5 <laughs> is already so high. I mean, how, how much does this, 1.3? Is it 1.3? I think it's 1.5 right now. And 140? 1.5 when we oh. measured it. But yeah, we, we, can, we can check again. Yeah. What's your turn? What's your take? I don't really mind. Like I said, it wouldn't feel right. It's like, is it necessary? No, it's not. But on the other hand, it should be fun. You know, we want to play with weird, gun weird guns. We want to play with CQB snipers, of course, within the CQB limit. If it's reasonable, go for it. Yeah. If the power is reasonable, I'm fine. Good. Again, let us know in the comments. If you think if it's free legal or not, also head over to the tech channel in a couple of days when Yen is going to strip this apart and he's going to talk about the technical details and we're going to make a gameplay with it. So subscribe to the channel, the main channel, technical channel. We're going to release some stuff about this gun right there and we see you guys on the next one. I would add one more thing. I think that overpowered sniper rifle with heavy BBs is worse. Like yeah. if you, if you, if you get hit with a heavy BB at I don't know, five joules like the SSG-10. I think that's worse than getting hit 10 times with one joule. Mm, yeah, true. But who allows five joules? This is kind of like working around the, 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 the limit. It's like, oh, so they restrict the joules. I'm just gonna boost the RPS through the roof. But like, usually there's no five joules sniper limit, right? Or at mm. least I don't, I mean, just, just like- Sweden? Work it. Is it Sweden? Yeah, but you have minimum engagement of what? 40 meters or 30 meters it's it's insane actually yeah. yeah but if we talk like if somebody would cheat you know i think yeah. that's worse that's worse yeah. Yeah. if you get if you get point blank five shoes that's mm -hmm. not funny anymore it's like a, if an air gun shoots you mm. yeah. okay that's it see ya